and Counter TV. Bringing light to the nation. Today we shall be talking about Thanksgiving and its benefits. Thanksgiving and its benefits. Thanksgiving and the gain. Let's use that word again, gain. What for? What is the gain of Thanksgiving? What is the profit of Thanksgiving? What is the result when you give thanks to God? The benefit. Thanksgiving is appreciation or appreciating God for all His goodness and mercy in our life. I come again, Thanksgiving is appreciation to God. Or appreciating God for all his goodness and mercy in our life. We all know that appreciation is an application for more. Appreciation is an application for more. When you appreciate God, you are applying for more blessing. When you say, Father, thank you, you are telling God to do more in your life. That's why praises and thanksgiving. God does not play with them. It is a returning back like that of one leper to say, thank you, Jesus. That one, there were 10 lepers. Only one came back and said, thank you, Jesus. And because he came back, he was perfectly healed. And when you see him, you won't even know whether he has such thing like that. But all that were here also, but not as that one that said, Father, thank you. In everything we do, we should always learn to give time to God. It is returning God's glory back to him when you are giving time. It's returning God's glory back to him. He said, my glory will I not share with anyone. Whatever level you are today, don't think it's by your strength. It's by your grace. Many say, I don't get sick because I'm eating nice food. It's a lie. Have you ever seen the mad people on the street that sleep in the whatever? Have you ever seen them rush to the hospital? So it's not the food you eat. It's not because you wear good clothes that make you look fine. It's because there is a hand on you. Don't share. He does not share his glory with anyone. Your blessing today to be given to God back for thanksgiving. Or whatever your achievement to be given to God back for thanksgiving. We are all alive today because of his grace. And I pray that God will help us today. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Returning God's glory back to him. And we know that God does not share his glory with anybody. It is recognizing, recognizing God as a doer. Not our skill, not our wisdom, not our resources, not our strength. It's not by power. It's not by mind. It's not by connection. That is the grace of God speaking. And when you give thanks to God, He increases your grace. He was telling me some time ago, He said, Sir, he said, he said My son, do you want to see another side of your ministry? I said, Yes. He said, Give me thanks. He said, Whatever it takes you, sacrifice it. He said, I'm not hungry. I'm not thirsty. But show me appreciation so that I will give you another level of life. You are here, dear. Don't see Thanksgiving as opportunity to make money, God forbid. It's an opportunity to appreciate God. I know how we were last year, many of us here, I know how we are right, right now. Life is quite better than the way it was last year. Thanksgiving. These are the secrets. Not every child that knows this family that yeah, what they do. To make God proud, I bet you. Is it children? Is it breakthrough? Is whatever connections that you don't know about. 
it will land in your hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus, please sit down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> when you recognize him, not depending on your resources, on your strength, on your connection, on your skill, on your wisdom, there is no wisdom on earth except the wisdom of God. No education that can give you the wisdom for you to succeed. It's only God. The wisdom of God to perceive anything you can think of. If there is wisdom from teaching, from church, from school, I think professor would not be the richest man on earth. Because they have read. We have some, some doctorate degree holders who are being employed by illiterates who are not educated. <laughs> that is what we are talking about. I have seen an accountant, first an accountant, working for an illiterate man who is not educated. It's not the certificate, it's by grace. Certificate is good, but grace is better. I know many of you here who are succeeding. I know what you read, eh? but you are using another thing, you are doing another thing today. It's not, it's not along your discipline. But he's an architect, he's an engineer. But that is not his discipline school. That is grace. That's why when I tell some ladies, it's not your makeup that attracts a man. It's grace that attracts a man. If you want to get the best, the way. That is not the way. You need grace, not your waist. When you have grace, you take over. And how will grace come? Thanksgiving. Giving him time, genuinely. Let's quickly look at Psalm 105. One, two, oh, I love this. He said, oh, oh give thanks, thanks to the Lord. Lord. And, and call upon, upon his name. name. Make he will make his no. deeds among the people. Are you hearing? Make thee his among, the, among people. the people. Uh -huh. Sing unto him and sing psalms unto him. Uh -huh. Talk ye of all his the wondrous, wondrous work. work in Do your you life. Yes, Let the people know. Yes, I told myself today I'm going to dance as I've ever danced before. Yes, sir. Because it's good. I was never hospitalized. Mm -hmm. I never run into her task carrying my children here and there. My wife never made me to, you know, I never say, oh, Father, oh, Father. I never pray a prayer of tears. I'm always praying a prayer of thanksgiving. Yes, it's enough for me to dance. Yes, I look at it. Let go. Let them know the wonders of God. Yes, sir. Let them know. Please continue. Sing unto him. Sing songs unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous work. Glory ye in his holy name. And let, let the heart of them that rejoice. Sing God. Sing the Be Lord. happy as you are here. Let the heart of them that rejoice. I remember. May his name alone be glorified. Continue, brother. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Are you hearing? As you are giving him time, seek his face. Continue. Okay. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, done, his, his wonders, wonders, and his judgment of his, of his mouth. mouth. Always remember. Always remember. Anything you ask of, it will bring it to pass. You are here, whatever you need. And during the Thanksgiving, <laughs> my dear, don't fold hand and be looking. Rejoice. Rejoice and begin to speak a word. Father, I can never be disadvantaged. And you will see the light. You will see God himself. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Psalm 107, 21 to 22. Oh, oh God, that man. men would praise the Lord uh -huh. for his goodness I and for his wondrous work to the children of men. And let them the sacrifice, let them sacrifice the sacrifice of oh, thanksgiving. And, and declare, declare his war. words with, with rejoicing. rejoicing. When you are giving thanksgiving, sacrifice of thanksgiving, sacrifice of thanksgiving, anything called sacrifice is something that is non convenient, but you have to offer it. That's why you see all those uh, unbelievers, they may sacrifice. One day in my junction, where I was living before, I saw very round fish, big fish with oil sparking. It's just that I didn't know when they put it. I would have ate that fish. But I know the person that put that fish has no fish in, in his soup. That is sacrifice. 
what you cannot do to yourself. Doing it to please the God. He said the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Doing what is bigger than you to say, Father, I share. You are giving him appreciation of what he has done. And he said, oh, my son, for you to do this, I will do more in your life. I told you, God, do it. As you are giving out this thanksgiving, do it in the spirit. Not religiously. Do it in faith. Not because this is how they do it last year. Do it from a right heart. There's no way you will not get results. A right heart. Not entertainment heart. A right heart. A right heart. A right heart. You always see me talking about hearts. Yes. Anything you do with a wrong heart, like Cain, it will give you Cain results. But anything you do right, it will give you a bad results. I bet you, I beg everyone, if you do it with your right heart, everything will be right with you. When you do it right, one, it will give you direct access to God's presence. Glory, it will give you direct access. Oh my God. Just like what happened today, aside, you see us, we're blowing her. We're blowing her. We're looking for how we can bring her back. We are looking for breeze to blow her, to resuscitate her. But just a word, just a spirit, a papa. When you give thanks to God, you carry His presence. The young man, the young lady was looking. Uh -uh, why am I here? What happened to me? Immediately, there was a connection. Immediate access cannot be bought with millions, with billions. No matter how rich you are. You can't get that access just like that. But with right thanksgiving, you can have it. Psalm 100, 1 to 4. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Are you hearing? Yes, sir. Make a joyful noise all unto ye the land. Lord, all ye land. I want you to shout it. Yes, sir. Tell you. Let me tell you, this noise you made has made so many idols to relocate. They want only their voice to be heard. But unfortunately, there is a God. Yes, sir. And that is the God we just shout now. Yes, sir. They don't like it, brother. They don't like it, sir. They don't like it. That's why I'm here. That's why you see them fighting me. They can grapple. They can grapple. Why are they saying I will leave? Because they know there is a man, there is a God that challenged them. Others are sleeping, but they see someone that is awake. Every kingdom here is shaking already. Why? Because of you. I want you to shout that shout again. <laughs> Please sit down. Let's continue. Let's continue. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. With singing. Knowing ye that the Lord he is God. <laughs> it is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Are you hearing? And we are the sheep of his pasture. We and are. And we are his people. <laughs> and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. And that is to his care with thanksgiving. And, and he to his God with praises. Be thankful unto, unto him, him and bless, and bless his, his holy name. Amen. Every Sunday, every service is supposed to be a thanksgiving prayer. Enter his gate with thanksgiving. Which altar is greater than God's altar? Which court that is greater than God's own? Which power that is greater than God's power? Never. Enter your thanksgiving. In this month of thanksgiving, yes, sir. your enemy will become a full soul to your greatness. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That devil is in trouble. Yes, sir. Mm. 
Let's look at Second Chronicles 5, 13 to 14. And it came to pass, and the trumpeters <laughs> and the singers were <laughs> as one uh -huh. to make one sound to be heard in praising uh -huh. and thanking the Lord. Uh -huh. And when they had lifted up their voice with the trumpet and cymbals, mm. an instrument of music, and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good and his mercy is endures forever. That when the house was filled with the cloud, even the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not stand to minister by the reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord has filled the house, the house of God. God. When you give him time, he terminates shame, disgrace, limitation, setback, poverty. There are things I have tried. Which God, the Father, the Son, of the Holy Ghost have done because of thanksgiving. This environment, we are here. They are not happy with us. They took us to court. Se severally, they have been going to court. They have car everywhere. That is their prayer. Another one came out and joined the person that took us to court. I said, yes. Yes, I'm aware. I'm one of the, I'm the, one of the witnesses. And the woman that wants to give it, said, I know that church. That church has been helpful to everybody. Why do you want to remove this church here? He said, that is my verdict. Everybody go. No more case. <laughs> Are you getting it? And I, I met somebody. He said, there is no way he can take us to. He said, you cannot stop God's blessing. And I pray anyone that wants to stop your blessing will go down. Yeah. Hey. You are seeing car. Instead of you to celebrate, you are angry. Yes, I pray if you don't have car in this place, hey. by this time next year, you will have that car. Hey. Amen. Yes, sir. In our next Thanksgiving, yes, sir. you will queue up to testify. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please sit down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The glory feel everywhere. Thanksgiving attracts God's glory. When you give him times, he bring down his glory. And the glory of God is God himself. It's God himself. Hallelujah. I see men. Today, I see the glory of God in your life. In your job, in your company, in your family, in your marriage, the glory of God. It terminates struggle in life. Let's go to the second one. Number two. We the answer to our prayer. Chapter 15, 14 to 15. Offer unto, unto God, God thanksgiving uh -huh. and pay thy vow unto the Most High. Uh -huh. Go to this, and, I see what he said there. And, and call upon me. me in the days of trouble, I and mean. I will deliver thee, and, and thou, thou shalt glorify, glorify me. Are you hearing? When you give thanks, when you call upon me, after our thanksgiving today, we will call upon him. He said, we answer you. That's why you see some people, because we don't know how, we don't do our thanksgiving with our heart. We don't give thanks to God in our heart. We pray, uh, 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 uh. Why? Why? Who will answer you? He said, when you give me thanks, he said, call upon me in your days of trouble, because there must be trouble. He said, I will do what? I will answer you. Are you getting that? Let it be your memory verse throughout this year. And next year, that when you give thanks to him, not even when Thanksgiving is feast. Even when it's not feast on your own. When you give him tithes always, he say, call upon me in time of trouble, I will answer you. Pridly answer. Pridly answer. Don't that was it. Please sit down. The third one, multiplication and increase in life. Jeremiah 13, 19. Look Out of said. them shall proceed thanksgiving. Are you hearing? And the voice of them that make merry. I'll and I will multiply them. them. And they shall not be few. You can never be few. In your I, business. Yes, sir. In your finances. You will never be few. I and will I, glorify them and they shall not be small. Are you hearing? Yes, sir. I will glorify them and they shall not be small. Yeah? When you get to your office tomorrow, give in thanks. Just kneel down and say, Father, thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. After that, just stand up. You will see, it will multiply you. It will glorify you. Hallelujah. And then don't sit one of our one to fourteen. After these things, Jesus went over the sea of Galilee, mm -hmm. which is the side of Tiberias, and a great multitude followed him. Mm -hmm. And because they had they saw the miracle which he did on them that were diseased. Are you hearing? Yes, sir. On them that were diseased. Yes, sir. It's not this, on them that were you know they, that were dead. On them that were dead. Yes. And yes. Jesus went, and Jesus went out, out into the mountain. <laughs> and there he sat with his disciples. Uh -huh. And the Passover, a yes. feast of the Jews, uh -huh. was nigh. And when Jesus then lifted up his eyes, he saw a great company come unto him. And he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him. For he knew himself what he would do. And Philip answered him, 200 penny words of bread is not sufficient it's for not them. It's not even sufficient. That every one uh -huh. of them may eat, may take a little. And one of his disciples, Andrew, Andrew. Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, There is a lad here which had five belly loaves and two fishes. But what are they the among so many? Come up. The yes. faith. We are talking of buying plenty bread. You say it will not be enough. You are coming to say there is somebody that has two loaves and uh, five fishes. We are talking of the plenty. Are you okay? But Andrew has faith. He knows what the master can do. Are you getting it? Many of you don't know what King Chapel can do for you. That's why we are still where we are. We are not moving forward. Are you getting it now? Look at what happened. Continue, brother. And Jesus said, make them sit down. Make now, them sit down. I want to give a fruit now. You see people rushing. When you are rushing, you can't get the result. Make them sit down. As they sit down, they were giving them one, two. I believe you are understanding. Fruitfulness is taking place. Because they sit down. You are not in hurry. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? It will help you to get what you want. Are you getting it? Oh yeah, let's, let's hear. And now was there so much grass in the place. Yes. So the men sat down in numbers of 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves. And when he had given thanks. He when he has given what? Thanks. Remember, so when you give it time, there will be what? Multiplication. Yes. When he give time. Uh -huh. He distributed to his disciples. And the disciple to them that sat down, and likewise of the fish as much as they would. And when they had filled, they were filled, he said unto his disciple, Gather up the fragments and that remain the remaining one that, not, they could that not nothing be lost. And therefore they gathered them you together. You know, many of us, when we eat, remain, we throw the food. Yes, sir. You know, it's a sin. Yes, sir. How many of you know that? It's a sin. For you to eat because you remember you threw it off. Say, gather them so that no one will walk with us. That is Jesus Christ. If you are a Christian, you are not an economist. You are gone. Jesus Christ, God himself was an economist. That's why he did not create the whole world once. He was doing it gradually, stage by. He has the power to create everything once. As an economist, you must learn. Management is not poverty. Management is to show how you appreciate what God has given to you. God did it. Multiplication. He said, gather them. How many baskets? Five. Twelve. Twelve baskets. Twelve baskets, yes. Sir. Remain. Are you getting it now? Yes, continue, sir. continue. And therefore they gathered them together and filled them twelve baskets with the fragments and five belly loaves. And remain over and above until them that had eaten. And those men that were there, when they had seen this miracle that Jesus did, they said, This is of a truth that prophets 
that should come into the world. This is the prophet we have been expecting of a truth. Are you getting it now? Are you getting it? And I pray multiplication in your life. Amen. In your business, in your finances. Amen. My dear, if you are here and you have not experienced multiplication, after today, multiplication left and right. Amen. East and west, north and south, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Finally, all round restoration. There is nothing lost that cannot be found in God. Anything you have lost, it can still be found in God. John 11, 33. And when Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jew also weeping, which came with her, and he groaned in the spirits and was troubled. He was troubled. And he said, where have ye led him? And they said unto him, Lord, come and see. And Jesus wept. And then said the Jew, behold. Jesus what? Wept. He cried. He, he, as a woman. He cried at that moment because he had the body of man. But look at what happened immediately after that. Uh, continue. And some of them said, could not this man wish open the eyes of the blind? They are not talking about him. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> That have, is the word we are today. Yes, sir. Mm. Have caused that even this man should not have died. And Jesus, therefore, again, groaned in his spirit, himself, come to the grave. Jesus, therefore, groaned in the what? Spirit. He's no longer the Jesus that wept. Yes, sir. The spirit of God entered him. <laughs> Continue. It was a cave and a stone laid upon it. And Jesus said, Take away the stone, and matter the sister of him that was died, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he had been dead for four days. And Jesus said unto him, unto her, Said not I unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. And then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee. What did he say? Father, I thank thee. Did he say, last door, come out? First of all, he said, Father, I thank, thank thee that thou hast heard me. Already. Yes, He's sir. thanking him because God has heard him already. Just like my brother here that gave testimony. And look at what happened. Oh, yeah. And I knew that thou hearest me always. Uh -huh. But because of these the people, people we stand, we stand by but I, I say it, it that they may believe that thou hast Oh my me. God. After today, people that are standing to see, hey, they want to see you pregnant. They want to see you carry baby. It shall come to pass. Amen. Where has it come to? That is what they will ask. I know many people that have come to this show because of somebody's testimony. They have been watching to see. And they have seen. Oh my God. It will do something in your life. I said, we'll do something in your life. Are we ready? Are we ready? Continue, brother. And when he just had spoken, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, <laughs> bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about him with a napkin. And Jesus said unto them, Lose him! Lose him and, and let then. him go. Are you seeing? Expect level our testimony. I pray anything that has been holding you that say you cannot move forward is terminated today. After today, thanksgiving, those that refuse to honor you will start honoring you. Those that don't see anything in you, we start seeing something. Amen. In the name of Jesus. My life be glorified. Be glorified. Encounter TV. Bringing light to the nations.